Today is one of the busiest travel days of the year, if not the busiest. And Houston airports are packed now with all the airport security controversy that's been going on. We are keeping an eye on how things are going. Thanks for joining us for 39 News at 5 in HD. I'm Mia Grady. Well, today is also the day several civil rights organizations encourage people to opt out of those security body scans. Much controversy about those all in protest, so it will back up the lines at the airport. Well, 39 Steve Mark is live at Bush Intercontinental Airport. And Steve, have you noticed, have those protests affected the lines at all at this point? No, not uh, one iota tonight. The Houston opt-out protest fizzled, actually, despite a planned blitzkrieg toward passengers at both airports here in Houston. The group urging air passengers to say no to full body scans and pat downs targeted today to bring a group of 12 activists to Intercontinental Airport. Instead, only four participated and because the group did not fill out the necessary advanced paperwork to be able to disseminate information at the airport, the group was forced out of the high traffic terminal areas and unable to effectively convey the message. Buying a plane ticket does not mean you, uh, you uh, give up all your constitutional rights. We have a constitutional right to travel, so you shouldn't have to give up some of your rights to exercise others. Congresswoman Sheila Jackson Lee was on hand at the airport again for the third consecutive day and actually expressed an interest in meeting with the protesters in a peaceful fashion. The two sides never cross paths. We're live at Intercontinental Airport. I'm Steve Mark, 39 News.